Welcome to my League of Legends tutorial, where I teach you basic mechanics and objective control around the map. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the shop. You want to double click on him and go to recommended items, no matter the champion you are playing. If you're new to Le League of Legends, you want to stay on recommended items. As an AP carry, Twisted Fate, the first thing I'm going to buy is Doran's Ring and two health pots. Doran's Ring is going to give me AP and health, as well as mana regeneration, so I can keep casting spells. And every time I kill a unit, I restore mana. You're going to want to get one of your first spells. Typically, you want to get your first spell that either allows you to wave clear a lot or does the most damage. Wave clear is killing as many units that are in front of you. So typically, a spell that has AoE, area of effect damage, and will hit more than one thing. For me, that's wild cards. I throw out cards, and it goes in a straight line, damaging everything in the line. As Twisted Fate, I'm an AP carry, or an ability power carry which is someone who stacks ability power for the damage that they can do and typically a carry does not have a lot of HP so I go mid because that's typically where AP carries go they go mid lane for other lanes AD carry or attack damage carry which is someone who does a lot of physical damage goes bot as well as their support their support is there to either heal stun or help them in the lane to allow them to succeed and take their towers Top lane is usually someone's tanky or someone who is not as tanky but can do more damage. It can also be someone who does a lot of direct damage. Typically it's just someone who is melee. So they can whip up as much damage as they can. They might be and not be as tanky as other champions but they still succeed in what they're supposed to be doing. There can either be two or one person up here. If there is only one person up here, there's going to be one person in the jungle which is going to be going after the buffs such as blue buff which gives mana regeneration and energy energy regeneration and cooldown reduction on your spells every spell has a cooldown so if you have cooldown reduction they have less of a time they need to get back up there's wolves and wraiths which give a set amount of gold when you kill them and increases over time as the map goes on there's red buff which increases which on hit does damage over time and has a chance to slow your enemy there's golems which give more gold than wraiths or wolves there are two of them, and they typically, every small camp gives a buff back. There's Dragon. Dragon gives no buffs, and typically cannot be taken down at lower levels without help. But when taken down, which typically is around the 10 minute mark is when you can go after Dragon, everyone on the team gets 150 gold once he is slain. There is three towers in every lane. These are defensive towers, and when you go in with range and you have no minions, minions, which happen to be these casters, they're either melee, canyon, or caster creeps. As you can see right now, my creeps are on the tower. And because my creeps are on the tower, if I were to walk up here and start attacking the tower, I would not get hit by the tower, and thus I ran out of creeps. You want to damage the tower until it falls down. When a tower goes down or it gets destroyed you get about 150 gold. Taking down the towers is one of the most important things you can do because it frees up not only the map you will no longer be getting hit by the tower if you walk by it because it will no longer be there but since if you take down mid tower you can now access their jungle without being hit by the beams that come out of, of the towers. One of the most important things that you need to know with League of Legends is last hitting. What is last hitting you say? Last hitting is when you get the final hit on a jungle creep or, or any creep in the game. When you do such a thing, you get gold. And what gold allows you to do is it allows you to buy more items. You can see when I, left, when I first left the shop, I only had 5 gold left. But now I have almost 400 gold. While that's not a lot, if I, was, if I had been last hitting this entire time, I would probably have somewhere around 600 to 700 gold by this time. One of the most important creeps to kill, no matter what, and you should almost never miss, because it is so important to your lane, is killing these canyon creeps. They give the most XP and the most gold of any lane creep, besides super creeps, which come into your lane after you destroy the inhibitor. What the inhibitor is, is after you destroy the first three towers in each lane, or any lane, you have an inhibitor. It also has its own HP, and when is that destroyed, on your side, your creeps are no longer inhibited and stronger 
much stronger creeps with more HP and deal much more damage come out and start attacking and pushing their lane a lot harder than than what the, these currently creeps are because these cre these creeps do a set amount of damage and their damage increases over time but super creeps do much more and are much more effective and it's much harder to push back for the enemy team to try and get into your base if there are super creeps in the lane because they have a lot more work to do to get move forward the main objective of the game is to get in the base kill these two towers and kill the nexus when the nexus is destroyed you have won if your nexus is destroyed you have lost one of the big things i see a lot of people forgetting to do is over time getting gold whether they know about CSing or not is they often forget to buy i know it's not a lot of it's not the first thing in your mind oh i have gold let me go buy something for a lot of people they don't even know about their gold and you really need to buy items to keep your to keep your presence in the game and to be strong enough to help your team a lot of people often forget that they can level up their abilities these big plus signs are that you have leveled up and you can increase the certain level of a skill every time you cook it one bar fills up there are obviously better choices to what you want to level up first me I'm going to level up my Q the most because as you remember it is the fastest of fastest way to clear a wave and I want to clear waves as fast as I can so I'm gonna get that first second one I'm gonna get is my W or is my E attack because I choose to get my E now I did slightly mess up right there what I should have got is my ultimate your ultimate every character has an ultimate some characters ultimates are better than others some some are for support and some do nothing at all some I mean well no no ultimate really does nothing but compared to other ultimates it's not the same for example if you were to play a character who got their ultimate at level one typically their ultimate doesn't do damage the ultimate does one of two things it, cha it changes their skill set which is almost entirely the case every time actually I believe it is the case every time and when it changes their skill set so instead of having three skills in an ultimate you have six skills that you switch back and forth. For example, this could be Jace, Elise, or Elias, however you've uh, seen to pronounce her name. Or the only one, other one I can think of at the moment is Nidalee. But she doesn't get her ultimate until level 6. Unlike Jace or Elias. One of the biggest things, so I say, oh, okay, I have enough gold, I want to go back. A lot of people might run back, but a simple thing you can do is you can just get to a safe spot press B and it will do a recall a recall when it finishes going brings you back to the base you come back to the base you double click him again and you can say oh I have enough for sorcerer's shoes sorcerer's shoes increases magic penetration which people can have magic resist and armor on them armor prevents physical damage magic resist prevents magic damage but if you have magic penetration you can remove essentially 15 magic resistance from the character or anything that you're attacking it also since it's shoes increases your movement speed by 45 units a second or units per step so I can see I'm going much faster than I did before one big thing you really need to know is you need to communicate with your teammates this is probably the biggest team rule you can ever do in League of Legends there are a lot of assholes there are a lot of people who are toxic players which means players who are rude for no reason they just you do something wrong often these are people who have made smurfs which is what a smurf is if someone's reached level 30 their account might have been banned or they just want to make another character so they're more skilled than what a level one person would be someone new to the game and they mess up and they yell at you and you're like I just joined the game what's the problem here but one of the biggest things, like I said, you need to know is team communication. Team communication is very, very important. If you can communicate with your team and the other team cannot, cannot communicate, they're fighting with each other, they're not doing well, and they're just overall being toxic players, while your team isn't, you have a huge advantage over your teammates. 
That is because they're not listening to her. You can you can be having a team fight mid lane. All five of your teammates can be here. Three of their teammates can be here, and one of their teammates are here, and one of their teammates are here. Well, you obviously have a clear advantage over who's going to win. You're five people versus three. Typically, unless you're getting destroyed and you have been losing a lot, three people might be able to beat five people. But if you gun even in lane, which means you both have around the same amount of gold, the same items, three people versus or four, five people versus three is gonna win. This has been the basic, the basic mechanics and objectives you should go after. Dragon should go after out of a bit of a time, and at 15 minutes, Baron spawns, which gives you a buff, which does many things, and is very helpful to your team. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.